When we first put in our gym system, we had talked to Advanced Technologies, um, which is a local company here in town that works with Atlas. As far as uh, gymnasiums, uh, we've done actually the Freeport Pretzel uh, High School Gymnasium, uh, the Freeport Aquin uh, Gymnasium, and then the Lewin Gymnasium. And they price quoted us an Atlas system. In the gymnasium, we went with 12 12 inch speakers, which was different for us. We actually had a center array before, and they said doing a spread out pattern makes it sound much better, and it does. A nice product from Atlas is the SM12 CXTs, uh, they come in white or black. In a lot of the gymnasiums with the lighter colored ceilings, the white blends in real well. Uh, they got a U-bracket channel, they mount up real nice to some beam situations. Uh, make sure with safety cables to wrap around them, you know, just for you know, safety-wise, obviously. You know, you can usually get by with a lot of gymnasiums and run them right down each side, uh, home visitor side or traditional gymnasium with four of them. And then if you want some more for dance competitions and just overall volume, four of them down the middle, fired onto the floor, work great. And it gives us a lot more versatility as to where we can turn things off and not run all the speakers all the time, depending on if we have volleyball going or basketball or we also do our graduation in, in there as well. Tying back in with the Blue Bridge product, different scenarios will lay out like with I know Freeport's gymnasium, they use that for their actual graduation, so they need to actually have some of them turned off. With the Blue Bridge system, we were able to give them a simple shortcut on the actual app that just said graduation mode. They hit that and it actually mutes two of the drivers that are just simply tied in accordingly to some CP700s and assigned outputs on the Blue Bridge. Pretty clean and simple. This is the simplest screen and all it has access to is the two basic mics, auxiliary sound and then a CD player sound. It has mutes and then normal sliders for them. And then it also has a pregame and a game time buttons. The game time turns on just the bleachers and the pregame turns on all 12 speakers. A nice uh, feature of the Blue Bridge uh, platform is the fact that you can take an iPhone or an iPad and actually download the Blue Bridge app to that device and then interface it and you actually build your own template with only the features that are needed for the end user. Then we have a more advanced screen that has access to all of our inputs that may not be used on a normal basis for stuff like graduation or other activities we do in here like assemblies. And this one we can also make it worked that it's just the eight outside speakers and the two center speakers going right onto the court. And we also have the amp output meter on it. They don't need to actually know how everything switches like a normal board or matrix would. You simply give them just the tabs for a preset shortcut and the slider controls for the inputs that are necessary to run the system. And then you can limit them also so that they can't override them as you could with a normal mixing board, of course. What's nice about this is it is pretty much tamper-proof, so people who may not know what they're doing as much can not mess anything up. And because we're using the same basic system in the gym as we are in the stadium, makes it so they know what they're doing from system to system as well, which is nice. You know, the whole system, once you get a couple under your belt and get moving with them, um, the whole process and the whole flow of how everything works together with Atlas, you know, helping with the design and that, it's a pretty simple format.